Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nets video series on multi-threading series and this is about atomic variables. So let me just remove this atomic for now so that we'll talk about the problem first and then we'll see what solution it brings. Okay, so if you see this program, we create two threads and waiting for that thread to finish here and once both threads are finished doing their job which is just incrementing this counter till times which is like 100,000. So the answer should be like if you print here, it should be 200,000. But is it really going to be that? Let me compile this. And if we'll run this, answer is, whoa, 1054. Let me do this again. Oh, so every time I run, the answer is different. So this is the pure race condition example. Where is the race here? Actually, both the threads are trying to increment the same counter and this is the race. So how do you solve the race? You have some lock here and then you will just simply unlock the same mutex, right? Like m dot lock and m dot unlock. So in that case, you can actually guard this from racing. Now, what if I tell you that just for simple tasks like this, you want to safeguard this particular integer number, then why to use mutex and so many lines and stuff no need you can just simply make this counter atomic let me do that for you and we are done now this is atomic counter let me compile this again and if i run this now it is 200000 all the time no matter how many times i run it will always be like this see i'm just continuously running and it is still it will always be 2000 this because this is an atomic operation I mean atomic variable so the operations whatever you can perform on this variable like plus minus whatever because it is integer so whatever the integer variable supports you can do all those operations atomically no more than one thread is allowed to do any operation on this variable simultaneously so our previous race condition was just because two threads were actually able to modify these variables. I mean this variable so that there was a race condition and the numbers were not updated properly. And I'm not going to explain like why it is giving all those different numbers when there is a race condition because I already have a video for that. If you don't know, please go ahead and watch that video. There I have explained like what happens. Why do you really get different numbers when there is a race condition? And this video is not about the race condition, so I will not include that. But here we will not end. There are many uh, data types you can use with atomic. And there is many more things in the atomic variable, like this atomic class. As you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a template class, right? So the type you provide, it will act accordingly. So if it is a class, it will have many member functions and stuff. So all those things will come in the later videos. Otherwise, this video will become very big. So this video was only for the introduction part, like what Atomic can do. And the answer to that is it will save you from writing like lock based program. If your task is very simple, like incrementing, decrementing and stuff like that. So let's keep this video this much only. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. I'll surely answer if no one have already answered to that question. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.